In this video, I'm going to cover the Jandy variable speed pumps. This particular one is the VS Flow Pro, 1.65 horsepower. And if you already have an automated system like the Aqualink, you can order the pump without the controller. And if you don't have an existing automated system and you don't want to upgrade, you can order it with the controller, or you can also order the IQ Pump 01. So I'm going to remove the pump from the box and show you what comes included with it. So inside the box is the installation and operation manual. There's also some extra wire if you're going to connect it to an Aqualink. It comes with two two-inch unions. It also comes with this base. You can install the Jandy VS Flow Pro where your existing pump was. So if you're going to remove a Hayward Super 2 pump and put this Jandy pump in this place, you would just put the Jandy pump on top of the base here. And if you're replacing a Penta Whisper Flow, you would use this base, but you would also add these spacers here. I'll show you in the installation here. I'm going to replace the Whisper Flow pump in the installation video. And the Jandy Variable Speed Pumps are very easy to install. They have an easy to access area in the back for the wiring. And a Jandy VS Flow Pro has a very easy to open lid. Also a very large pump basket. And for most pools, the 1.65 horsepower variable speed pump would be sufficient. If you have a very large pool or a pool with a lot of water features, you may want to go with a 2 horsepower variable speed pump. Besides the 1 horsepower VS Flow Pro that I show you in this video, Jandy makes a variety of other variable speed pumps. You can visit their website to see the other variable speed pumps available by Jandy. So in the following videos, I'll show you how to plumb in the VS Flow Pro into your existing equipment, and I'll also show you how to wire it. 